Hello everyone, this is Daniel Smiley and today I'm going to talk about MotoCAD demo for a brushless uh, DC motor which is used for a, an electric bike. I'm uh, making this presentation on behalf of Ozen Engineering Corporation and the goal is to show you the capabilities of uh, MotorCAD and how you can adjust the setting for such a motor. So today I'm going to talk about the uh, introduction, then the initial input, and then uh, MotorCAD versus thesis idea. Uh, the reason is that this is based on the thesis, but uh, I'll also explain how you can uh, take the data if you have uh, if you have if you have a data sheet and you want to use MotorCAD, and then the setup and the MotorCAD and then the result. So the introduction is that uh, there is a thesis that uh, studies the brushless DC motor uh, for an electric bike and it used uh, RM, um, RM expert, which is part of Maxwell. Uh, we are going to use MotoCAD today in order to run the same motor. The reason is that we want to show capabilities when you want to uh, switch between these two software as well as how to put some data if you have uh, information from the other sources such as data sheet. So uh, here, as you can see, uh, I'm showing the slot type and the information for the slot. Now, the main uh, thing that we're going to cover today is a slot type, rotor type, and, and winding uh, setting. So in the RM, RM expert, uh, as, as I highlighted here, we have a uh, different as, as slot type. Uh, it varies from one to six. One of the slot type that is chosen for this thesis is slot, is slot type number four. And in each uh, uh, slot type, there are different parameters. As you can see, I mentioned them here. This is from a table in the thesis. Uh, and uh, also uh, here are the, pro the, the description of those uh, parameter if you are interested to learn about them. However, when you go to the uh, MotoCAD interface, it's a little bit different. Let me show it to you. So here is the MotoCAD interface. As you can see, you now we have a slot number, slot board, two feet, slot depth, and etc. And uh, the good thing about MotoCAD is that it, it'll change as, as you change them. For instance, uh, let me change uh, one of them. For example, the radius, that is two right now. So lo look at this corner here. If I change them to zero, it'll be like a rectangle. If I change it like to 20, it'll be wrong. So that's the radius and that corner. There are um, different uh, parameter that you can change and the a slot, same for the rotor. There are different uh, parameters that you can change from diameter, air gap, uh, magnet thickness, uh, etc. And as you know, the main one are the pole number and the uh, slot number. Uh, it's good to keep in mind this is for radial. Uh, as, as you know, we have also axial. So if you have axial, you need to click on this tab and fill the information. Uh, you can have also a 3D view of your machine and you can rotate it and look at it and even uh, there is animation that uh, change uh, that start rotating it for you. So back to the radial part, these are the numbers that we want to understand. So uh, for instance, a stator depth, uh, uh, it would be the depth from this point all the way to this point. So basically, we're going to add HS2, HS1, and HS0 together to come up with the number, which is 35. Um, for instance, 2 div is HS0, which is 3 here. So uh, what we're trying to tell here is that you know if you have a different uh, parameter that they don't have exact same wording, there is always ways to uh, find the numbers and translate them. Uh, this is an example. It could be also from a data sheet. So all you need to do is see what are the slot type, look at them and uh, try to find the equivalent 
a parameter in, in uh, MotoCAD. It's the same for the rotor as well. So here we see the rotor. So uh, for the rotor, we have also on the left-hand side, the interface uh, for the MotorCAD, the right-hand side, the parameter that are needed for the RMX per maximum. And as you can see, you know, it's shaft diameter or outer diameter. So uh, we, we find that number and put it there or the shaft hole diameter or inner diameter. I don't want to go that much into detail because I'd like to keep this video short. But if you have any question, please uh, let us know either down below in this video or uh, feel free to uh, contact us. I'll, I'll leave the contact information toward the end of the, uh, the video. The next one is, is winding. On the left-hand side, you see the interface for the MotoCAD. And on the right-hand side, you see uh, the interface for the RM Expert. Uh, again, you can get this data from uh, data sheet as well. So keep in mind that for the winding, it has two tasks. One is definition, one is pattern. I'll, I'll show it uh, to you in a minute. But uh, with these two different uh, tabs, you can adjust uh, different setting for the winding. So if you have any, this is the uh, this is not the end of the presentation, but just wanted to show you the uh, contact. If you have any question, you can email support at ozanin.com. If you have any project, we'll be more than happy to do it for you. If you have a question or you want to buy this software, please let us know. You're also more than welcome to visit our website and uh, give us a call. So let me go back to the MotoCAD again. So this is the winding that I was uh, mentioning here, as you can see. Here uh, it shows the winding, and you are different. You can do different uh, type of winding. For instance, here the path by it could be central. Now you see it change from. Look at this one; it's changing, or the upper and lower, or you can go to the right and left. So, and here you show different phases. Like if you want only phase one, you just click on this one; it shows you phase one. Same for phase three. And you know if you want to look at the linear pattern, some people are more interested to. Looking at this way, you can have that interface. You can go with the phaser for the MMF. Uh, you can look at the harmonics, etc. So let's go back to the radial pattern. And uh, this is the pattern, as I, as I told you. You can uh, put the turns, the, how many parallel paths you want, winding layers, etc. You can also go for the uh, definition. Definition is the wire inside the uh, tooth. So you can, for instance, say strander. Oh, let me close this one. Uh, or you can change the diameter. For instance, you go from uh, 1.98 to 2.5, and you can see how it changes. And uh, there are different uh, wire types that you can use AWG or uh, metric or any other uh, type that you like to have uh, from your data sheet or from the model. But yeah, again, I, I don't want to go that much in detail, but uh, you, you can make a lot of change here. And these are the output that you that you will see in the uh, after solving the, the, the geometry. You can also set your input data, uh, like what is the state of lamb, or like uh, the armature and rotor. And you can uh, also, for the magnet, you can uh, choose the material here. On top of that, it, there is a huge database for material that you can choose from. There's also some setting here that are advanced. You don't need to uh, worry about it. And then if you can look at it, this setting it's for geometry and it's for electromagnetic, for calculation, uh, for the graphs. Uh, and you can choose what type of graph you want here. This is something that you might need or like, for instance, uh, it's, uh, the frequency is based on collagen, electrical, et cetera. 
and uh, losses. So once you set that up, you go to the calculation and here you can uh, set up the speed, which I did for 380 to match what we have in the, in the thesis. And then uh, we have the peak current and you have the drive type. Uh, some people might be interested to uh, change the drive type. Uh, please note that there is a drive type here. So if I go to define that drive type is gone now. So and if you want to have a, a square wave for our motor because it's brushless DC motor. So we change it to calculate the current and then we have the square one. And once we do that, you know, we can have the switch resistance or a four volt voltage for those switches and set them here. Back to calculation, uh, you can have a torque, uh, back EMF, cognitive torque, etc. for your uh, analysis. Uh, there are different settings here also, as you can see, uh, but I'm going to skip that. Uh, and talking about electromagnetic and thermal coupling here, please note that you can have the model at electromagnetic, thermal, lab, or mechanical. On this uh, clip, you're just focusing on the uh, electromagnetic, but uh, this software can help you with the thermal or lab analysis as well. So uh, these are just some uh, visual, uh, I mean, I ran it already uh, and made it ready. Uh, so once you run it, you, you'll see the result when it comes, for instance, to, to flux density. Uh, the part that uh, you might be more interested in is some of the output, for instance, for the electromagnetic, for the equivalent circuit, how much would be the uh, d-axis inductance, q-axis inductance, yeah, et cetera, or how much would be the, the losses, like on the certitude or magnet, uh, you can look at the different uh, output here for the winding and there are some saline saline tip. Uh, and then uh, another way to look at the output data is, is the graph. For instance, we have the back EMF here. We have the terminal voltage here. As you can see, it's uh, uh, like the, the step one for different phases, A, B, and C. Or you can look at the torque uh, for instance, we can look at the flux linkage, or we can uh, look at the torque speed, and it shows you know the different degrees, ten degrees, twenty degrees, etc. So we we try to very uh, have quickly talk about this uh, software, its capabilities. Uh, there are a lot more in this software, but it was a, a high level. Uh, overview of the software. And uh, again, you can use uh, transfer uh, from different software, for instance, Atom Expert to, to MotorCAD, or you can have your own data sheet and find the uh, data in, in the data sheet and transfer it to, to MotorCAD. Uh, it also, the beauty of this uh, software is it also has some, uh, A model that you can choose, like open template. You can choose from all these open template if, if you uh, are interested. But again, if you have any question, please let us know. And uh, if there is uh, any, any project that you have or anything that we can do for you, please uh, feel free to contact us uh, here. At Ozone Engineering, we use uh, physics-based simulation to solve the multidisciplinary engineering problems. Uh, we are we have expertise in FEA analysis, uh, CFD analysis, uh, low frequency, and uh, high frequency electromagnetics from uh, antenna to signal integrity to motor and uh, circuit or simpler. I hope you, you enjoyed this uh, presentation. And if you have any question, please let us know. Thank you for your time.